If all you give your clients are auto photos and point clouds, someone cheaper can easily replace you. Drone data by itself is just raw material. It still needs a lot of work to turn it into a usable survey and that job usually falls on the client. That's the problem, because when your work looks the same as everyone else, the price is the only thing that matters. But after 20 years as a surveyor, I learned something important. Clients will pay more for complete topographical drawings that meet their standards and are ready to use. And the best part, you can do all without needing a complex CAD tool. So in this video, I will show you how to take your drawn data and turn it into professional topographical plans that clients actually want and are willing to pay more for. Why do I say orthophotos, DSMs and point clouds are just raw data? Imagine you want to build a house. Someone sells you the brick and mortar, but without the skills to build, you will need to hire a bricklayer anyway. Now, if you value your time, you will choose someone who offers both materials and skill labor, right? In this story, your client's construction project is the house, your orthophotos, DSMs and point clouds are the brick and mortar, and the bricklayer is the CAD technician who turns that raw drone data into usable technical drawings. If you only deliver raw drone data, you will end up competing solely on price against every other drone pilot doing the same thing. It's a race to the bottom and you risk getting replaced by bigger competitors. That's why professional 2D and 3D topographical drawings matter so much. They interpret drone data into exactly what construction designers need, highlighting essential features clearly. When surveyors traditionally measure with GPSs or total station, they select and record just the data the client needs, speeding up office processing later but drone surveys reverse this making quick work in the field but leaving heavy lifting in the office this is precisely why the drone pilot typically earns just around 20 percent of the survey job's total fee while the cat technician delivering the finished drawings earns about 80 percent now there are many advanced tools like autodesk civil 3d that engineers use but this can be overwhelming for beginners even as a certified autocad professional with over 20 years of experience i still haven't used every function available after testing several solutions i found virtual surveyor to be the simplest most intuitive option for extracting quality topographical features from drone data. And that's exactly why I have been using successfully for the last three years. Virtual Surveyor is a drone surveying software that lets you turn your aerial data into accurate topographical deliveries much faster than traditional fieldwork. With Virtual Surveyor, you load your processed drone outputs like orthophotos and DSMs into a 3D environment and digitize the key features like points, break lines, and contours needed for a topographical map. Virtual Surveyor comes in four versions, from the free to the full feature. Even the free version lets you create and export points, lines, and surfaces. I've used Virtual Surveyor for the past three years, but you can try it yourself with a 14-day trial of the peak version. Now let's have a look on how easy it is to create topographical drawings in Virtual Surveyor. Okay, so we open the Virtual Surveyor we're gonna create a new project and create. Now we're gonna choose our files. I will choose a ortho photo mosaic and a DSM. You can import also point clouds, but it's not a classic way. That's another subject for another video. So if you want to see more, just drop in the comments. So I'm gonna put the DSM first, open. Now it's ready to be inserted. You press insert and is gonna enter with the coordinate system. Sometimes like in reality capture, uh, you don't have a coordinate system. So you're gonna need to go here on the bottom where is coordinate project. And then you're gonna need to put your own coordinate system, which in my case is the same 27700. This is the DSM, how it looks like. Now we're gonna import the ortho photo again this was exported with pix4d was already in os but if you do with the reality capture you're gonna need to insert manually let's look here on the right bottom you have the 2d view which is just top view like 
2D or if you press this one you can actually rotate and see in 3D on the free version you can actually input points we're gonna put points on the on the manholes you can put it in a layer for example manhole and you press plus and now you're gonna have the layer manhole so you can make it red you can put it here in the center or you can do actually a polyline let's say on the curb if you go on 3d and you just rotate you can click one here one here and yeah it takes it takes a, a bit of practice it's a bit different than autocad but uh it's not that difficult if you press right click that will close the line and now you can go to arch you're just gonna click on the last point and then whatever point you want and then you just adjust it here this is how you draw features another one is boundary boundary is uh, very important if you press here this is the boundary is just the the an area that you can modify a lot of stuff if you have the pay version you just press click right and that's closing you can make a point grid inside you can choose uh, let's say five meters and then you press point grid and you have points automatic inside or you can triangulate and you can create actually surfaces inside which is pretty cool if you have like a machine control or if you want to put in the emily uh, gnss controller and you want to, to just verify on site it's very useful if you go on the analysis you can do a profile for example i'll do on the road here to here uh, right click and then you'll see it here on the bottom you can have the slope direction basically it says where the water flows you have like elevation map where you can put your minimum and your maximum it just shows you the elevation in a palette you can put contours you can see them the interval one meter and you choose your color let's say red and green So for example, if you look on this one in 3D, I just want to eliminate this excavator. So you're just going to press on it and it just flat. This was before and this is after. So you can eliminate uh, artificial objects like this one again. In big line, you can actually do a lot of stuff with different versions. This is just for creating topographical drawings. Very simple. If you want to find out more, just drop in the comments. Also, press the like button. That will help my uh, video to export. After you're happy, you can export survey. You have different formats. You have the TXF, which is for CAD or shape file, which is for uh, GIS, QGIS, RGIS, CSV, KML is for... Um, google earth but i prefer the dxf it's it's just gonna export your features now you press export you choose dxf if you have any any profiles you can export here you can export the um, pro version you can do the stockpiles again leave in the comments you can export report uh, you can export image so now i just uh, opened the dxf file in uh, brickscat as you see all the features you see the the curb you see the arch pretty cool and then if you look here with the red and um, that's the manhole and this is the thin surface this is actually in 3d so everything is in 3d so now you've seen how easy it is to turn your drone data into professional topographical plans using virtual surveyor but here's the thing no matter how clean your deliverables look they're only as good as the data you start with and if that data isn't accurate you could be building flawless drawings on a broken foundation because even with the perfect processing if your rtk corrections are off your entire survey could be wrong and the scariest part you might not realize it until it's too late before you fly another job you need to see what may be quieting ruining your accuracy and how to fix it before your next survey